I was asked different ways to increase protein intake. So a couple of reasons why we would want to increase protein intake is because it's gonna make us feel full or satiated for longer periods of time. So it's a really great thing in order to, you know, curb some of those sugar cravings that we might have. Couple ways we can do this. You can eat more animal protein and greens. So the greens are gonna give you a lot of nutrients. So if you think about your plate, you don't have to sit and have like a bunch of carb as like a third or half of the plate. You can have your protein source and then, you know, your rest of your veggies. Beans or lentils are usually high in protein. So these are another, you know, good items that would be ways you can pair things like with rice, brown rice, things of that nature that create complete protein. So definitely can um, pair like that. Soups that we're making, you can put, you know, protein in it, but you're gonna get some of the protein from some of the other veggies, as well as if you decide to use a beef bone or a chicken bone broth, you're gonna have more protein in the soup as well. If you switch over pasta from a gluten-based pasta, you could do a lentil pasta or a chickpea pasta, brown rice, you could have quinoa, lots of different options there. Adding more protein, cook it in the bone broth would be one way. Protein shakes or bars are another, you know, quick on the go, don't have a lot of time. Uh, so you can even do your green smoothie and add protein powder in there um, and some fruit just to, you know, sweeten it up a little bit. Watch out for sucralose or other artificial sweeteners or sugar, just plain sugar in some of the, um, some of the protein shakes. The bars, <laughs> my caveat, a lot of things that are a crisp will have soy protein. Not everybody digests or handles soy very well and it can act like estrogen in the body. So if you have any kind of hormonal imbalances, that might not be the best option. Hard boiled eggs or eggs in general are fantastic as far as getting more protein. If you hard boil them, you can pre-peel them and take them with you as a snack, it works great. If you are in the store, you can look at keto items. Again, just be careful what sweeteners are in things, but some of the keto items um, will have stevia. It's not a perfect option, but it's better than you know some things. So there might even be some more protein rich cereals or other things like that. Again, look at the ingredients. You can also Google foods that are high in proteins, print out the list and try to buy the ones that you like or that you know work well for you. That's another, another good option. So anytime that you're making you know, a shift, just remember it takes the body a little bit of time to get used to this and we can literally do it very simply. So you normally have a salad. Hard boil your eggs, throw two eggs on top. You've just gotten more protein than you would have otherwise. Even if you have chicken or shrimp on your salad, you could still throw an egg or two in there just to <laughs> meat it up a little, <laughs> no, protein it up a little bit. Uh, so plenty of good options. So these would be my suggestions as far as how do you get more throughout your day. Some of the ones that I personally do are the chickpea pasta, so like if you like hummus, hummus is a great one with your veggies to add some extra protein with veggies. I like the bone broth, so that I will use a lot. And sometimes I even just, you know, if I'm not feeling great, I just have a cup of that bone broth and that has a lot of protein. Eggs, I, I do things with eggs all of the time. And protein uh, shakes, I, um, what is it, vital something vital, something, I don't know. But anyway, it's downstairs <laughs> on the counter where it should be. So I'll do greens, I'll add spinach and some fruit and then some protein powder, it's a collagen, collagen protein powder. I personally don't do fantastic with um, pea protein, so I avoid the pea protein powders, but I have used like Orgain organic powder in the past. Uh, so all of these are good options for you as far as how do you actually get more protein into your day. If you're eating all of this protein, trust me, you're not hungry for a lot of other things. I hope you found the information useful. If you did, you can comment below.